Hi, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. In this video, we will walk you through the simple steps to assign a STT RP address on a freshly installed Windows Server 2025. Whether you are setting up a server for the first time or configuring network settings, assigning a STT RP address is one of the first things you will want to do. For example, to successfully promote Windows Server 2025 as a domain controller, you must assign a static IP address to your server. By default, Windows Server 2025 is set to use dynamic IP address from the DHCP server. Press Ctrl to delete, enter the password in the password text box and then press Enter. The system logs in the administrator user account to Windows Server 2025. First, let's go ahead and open the network settings. Right click on the start button and select network connections. Now depending on your connection, select either Ethernet for wired connections or Wi-Fi for wireless connections. In this example, I'm going to click on Ethernet. Now you will see a section named IP assignment. Click on add it. By default, automatic DHCP option is selected. Choose manual from the drop down and then switch on IP version 4. Here, you can enter your static IP address which you want to assign to your server. Enter your desired IP address. Make sure it's within your network's IP range and don't conflict with other devices. In my local network, I'm using the IP range 192.168.25.0.24 with the router's IP address set to 192.168.25.1. From this IP range, I have selected the available IP address 192.168.25.25 to assign to our Windows Server 2025. Next, enter your subnet mask. Typically, this will be 255.255.255.0 for most home or small business networks. Finally, enter your default gateway. This is usually the IP address of your router which in many cases will be something like 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.11. In my case, it is 192.168.25.1. Now, let's configure DNS servers. You can use your router's IP address as the DNS server or use public DNS servers like Google's 8888 for primary and 8844 for secondary. In this example, first I'm going to specify my router's IP address as a preferred DNS server's address. Enter 192.168.25.1. In alternate DNS address, I'm going to specify Google's public DNS server's address 8888. Once everything is entered, click OK to save these settings. In IP assignment, we can see the manual is selected with the IP address 192.168.25.25. To verify the static IP, Open the command prompt by typing cmd in the start menu. Type command ipconfig and hit enter. Check the IP address listed under the Ethernet adapter. It should match the static IP address you just configured. You have successfully assigned a static IP address to your Windows Server 2025 machine. Now it's ready for your network setup. There are several other methods to assign a static IP address on Windows Server 2025. You can use Server Manager Dashboard, Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell. These are the older and most commonly used methods for configuring IP addressing on Windows devices. Let me show you one more method to assign a static IP address. Open Run menu, type ncpa.cpl and hit Enter key. Look at the Ethernet adapter you want to configure. It's usually labeled Ethernet or Local Area Connection. Now right click on your chosen network adapter and select properties. This will bring up a new window with various configuration options. In the properties window, find Internet Protocol version 4 and then click properties button. Now you will see two options, obtain an IP address automatically and use the following IP address. Select the second option to assign a static IP address. Let me show you that. First, I'm going to set this server to obtain an IP address automatically since we have already configured a static IP address. So let me set this server to obtain IP address and DNS server's address automatically from the DHCP server. Now again, let's follow the same process. Right click on Ethernet adapter, go for the properties, select Internet Protocol version 4, click on properties and this time we have to select the second option to assign a static IP address. Enter your desired IP address. 
Let me assign the same IP address again 192.168.25.25. Press Tab key to fill subnet mask automatically. Now enter the default gateway's IP address, which in our example 192.168.25.1. Under preferred DNS server's address, I'm going to enter IP address 192.168.25.1. This is my router's IP address. An alternate DNS server is going to be Google's public DNS server 8888. Once you're done configuring the static IP address, click OK and click on Close. You have successfully assigned a static IP address to your Windows Server 2025 machine. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tutorials. See you next time.